Hi guys, it's me Brittany. This is my first ever YouTube video, so please bear with me and my first time cash stuffing. So I thought I would do it on camera with you guys. Um, so let's just set out the money first. And I will be getting like a little um, tray thing for my, my, bleh, for my money. I've seen people get those little trays for their money and I thought that would be really cute to get. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get this over a bit. All right, so we have all of our money laid out. Um, I'm gonna be making me some budget trackers. Uh, but for now we just have little like index cards and I wrote the categories and the date and then I'll be writing how much I put in each of them. So let's go ahead and open this. We have our binder. Um, I just got this binder off Amazon, these off Amazon, and then I made these ones myself. Um, so let's just get start stuffing these. So these will be in two different binders, I'm just waiting for the second binder to come. So first up we have groceries and that will be getting $40. We're gonna do two 20s. And don't mind my finger, Paw Patrol, tell me you're a mom without telling me you're a mom. <laughs> um, but they're cute and my son saw it and was like, go, go for Paw Patrol. Right now he's taking a nap so if at any point um, the lighting changes or something it probably is because i stopped the video because he woke up from his nap anyway so that means there is forty dollars in groceries to start out so we'll take that put that in here as well okay then we'll do couponing and that is getting thirty dollars twenty and a ten basically with this is um, I use Ibotta and Shopkicks so whatever money I need to buy the stuff like the deals and things I'll use this and then what I'm gonna be doing with the Ibotta money is just taking out um, it in gift cards to Walmart and use that for my groceries and then anything that that doesn't cover that's what this will be for um, mamas that is my spending money and that will be getting, let me see, where did I write that? $40. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be rolling it over. So if I don't spend it, then it just rolls over into the next week. I know some people don't like to do that. They take out um, whatever's left over and then just put it towards like a challenge or whatever. But I'd like the money just to roll over so that if I end up wanting something a little more expensive, I have I have money in here. Next is utilities, and that will be getting $25. So we will be getting a 20. One, two, three, four, five. 20, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. $25 and I meant to count I know like I like watching people recount the money so I will try to do that for these following ones I forgot in the beginning so this one okay so ignore that being a little messed up I was in the middle of going to cut it on my Cricut and my son unplugged my computer and I lost all my progress so I had to um, restart and try to figure out where I had placed this on my Cricut. And if anyone does Cricut, they know that that is very difficult. So I cut some of them a little off and I just, I didn't want to redo it yet. I probably will eventually though. Anyways, my buffer is just going to be exactly that, a buffer. So if any of my like categories go over, if I need a little something, I can pull from here and not have to like worry about putting it on a credit card or taking out from um, my checking account. So that's what this buffer is going to be for, and that is going to get $25. So 
So let's go ahead and grab that. 20 and then five ones again. One, two, three, four, five. So 20, one, two, three, four, five, $25. Obviously, this will be more exciting once I start building more money in here, but I just wanted to film me getting started because I actually have not seen a first video from anyone I've seen, you know, when they are already on their journey. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to film mine from the very beginning and we can see how much progress that we've made. So this one is gifts and that one is going to be getting $50 and I'm just going to take this 50. Um, I'm taking the full 50 because I am going to be giving this to my husband for Father's Day um, to get him like a new pair of shoes. So I'm just going to be giving him the $50 in cash. And then um, our next check, we will be stuffing this more for future gifts as well. Moving on to my baby. His name is Gabriel. So this is baby Gabies envelope and that will be getting 50 that's going to be getting two 20s two fives twenty forty forty five fifty and this is just for his um his savings this is not to be spending on anything else um like i said earlier i do coupon so when i get gift cards to target like whenever I do the deals where it's like buy this and you get a five dollar gift card or spend a hundred dollars on diapers and get a twenty dollar gift card, we save those gift cards and um, use that to buy his diapers and stuff. So this is not to cover any of diapers or food or wipes or anything. This is just for purely his savings account. Okay, then we have our Christmas one. We're saving it for Christmas and starting in June. Um, started probably later than I should have, but that's okay. Um, this one will be getting $50 as well. Just to kind of start us off on a nice little jump start. Um, so I will be like putting these in different binders, like groceries and couponing and stuff like that. Like ones that I spend on a weekly basis or whatever will be going in one and then the savings accounts like the gifts and for Gabby and Christmas and stuff will be going in another. Okay, so then Xmas, Christmas is getting 50, like I said, okay. So 20, all right, 20, 40, 45, 50. This is very satisfying, like doing this with these y'all should get you some of these amazon i'll try to link them below if i remember and if i figure out how <laughs> all right um this is for baby number two no i am not pregnant there's no baby on the way but we know that we do want a second baby eventually so i thought i would start saving now and this is going to be um the baby's savings account slash like i don't know lack for lack of a better word like the startup cost of having a baby. So diapers and wipes and whatever we need for that baby, we'll pull from here and whatever's left over will be the start of that baby's savings account as well. So because um, this baby does not exist yet, <laughs> we are gonna be giving $20. So lesson we are for Gaby, but that is okay. Just a little jump start for the future. So $20 for that baby. Okay, next is vacation. We don't have anything planned, but I know, you know, eventually it would be nice to have some money once we do want to go on vacation. So that was going to be getting $20 as well. and then we're gonna have a car. So right now we just have one and we slid it between the both of us. So I would kind of like my own car. So this is just saving up for that. Um, it's not a necessity right now. This is definitely low priority. Um, 
but I thought, you know what, it would be nice to save up for it. So we're going to start that and that is going to get 20 as well. $20. And I kind of have always wanted to get Invisalign. Hey, let me fix that. That's going to bother me. So I thought, you know what? This is me. I'm going to start saving up for it and just um, whenever... This goal will be like $5,000. I don't know how much it is going to be, but I researched and it says it's usually between three and $7,000. Um, my teeth are not that messed up, but I don't really know how they calculate that. So um, I just basically have two teeth that are a little bit twisted, but the rest are like completely fine. But I don't know how that's going to affect the rest of them. So 5000 in the middle, I figured would be a good start. So that is going to get ten dollars so because i'm just doing this for the first time um i'm just trying to see where my money will be going and it won't always get this much and some will be getting more we'll just have to play around with how much everything gets so that is ten dollars for that so i will be adding some more categories i ordered more of um, these online and then another two binders. Um, I do want to add one. I know for sure that is for um, going back to the bank so that when I spend money, because I don't always like to use cash, so I'll use like my card and whatever I use, I'll take it from the envelopes and put it in the envelope that goes back to the bank and then that will be deposited um, to cover those costs. And then I think I'm also going to make one more for my credit card. But so far that is it. I put a little sticker that I made on here because I thought, you know what, that looks really cute. And then I have leftover money. So I also really wanted to start the 100 envelope challenge. So that is what we are gonna do. Let me put this to the side. I shall just set it right over here. Okay, and today we will be stuffing 12 and number 100. I just wanted to get the 100 out of the way first. And we have a hundred dollar bill and I didn't want that to go all to one category anyways. So this hundred will be going in here. So I just used whatever envelope I had on hand, but I think I might be getting some different ones to make them a little bit cuter. Maybe I'll print some stickers or something. Um, but for now, this is it. And then we have our 12 that we'll be stuffing. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dollars. And then, if for those who don't know, it's a hundred envelope challenge. So you choose like um, envelope one through one hundred to stuff for that week or bi-weekly or however you get paid or however you really want to do it. Maybe once a month. Um, just extra money that you have that you can stuff in the envelopes. Um, and then at the end of it you should be at, I think it's $5,050. So I'm really excited to see how this um, challenge goes. I know that when I started, I wanted to get at least a really big one out of the way because I don't know that I will always be able to do that. So that is what we have so far. And I'm really excited to start this challenge and see how the progress goes. And that is all we have for today. Um, I'm thinking about starting one of the other challenges like the coin one. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So again, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you liked it. It's my first video. I'm hoping to get better, see what I did wrong or what I can improve on. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to continue to do this and build up my little savings and yeah. So I hope that everything goes great for you guys, for your savings and your debts and whatever you have. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.